Here's Open Moxie for Dummies. I'm going to show you how to install Open Moxie. I'm using a laptop that I got just for Moxie. If you want to take Moxie places, you're going to need a laptop. If you are just going to keep Moxie at home, you can do it on a desktop PC. I'm going to do this very slowly and step by step. Warning, it can be frustrating. First off, you have to have Windows 11. It is very important to make sure you disconnect from the app, from the embodied app on your phone. Unpair your Moxie from that. I recommend having something to write with so you can keep track of your freaking usernames and passwords throughout this. That was a mistake I made. Have your Moxie plugged in and ready to go. Okay, we all got this email from Embodied with the Open Moxie Setup Guide. I went ahead and downloaded that onto my desktop for easy reference. The first thing it has you do is to install Docker on your computer. You can literally click on this link in the message. It'll take you straight to their website and you want to download Docker Desktop. All right, so that's going to look like this. The desktop installer looks like that and then go through the steps to download that and then you'll get this little icon for Docker Desktop that will pop up. Create a new directory aka a new folder somewhere on your computer. For example, create a new folder on your desktop and name it Open Moxie. To make a new folder, right click in any open area, new folder, select, and then you're going to name this Open Moxie and hit enter. Download Docker Compose YML and save it inside that directory. You have to download this directly into the Open Moxie folder. You don't want to move it there. You want to click on this. It's just going to have a bunch of code on it. That's okay. That's normal. And then you download it. Make sure you have your downloads on your browser set to where you can choose where they download to. Don't let this go into downloads. Make sure you can save as and then save it into this folder directly. So you're going to hit download, save as. I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to choose Open Moxie. And I'm going to save this file directly into my Open Moxie folder. And you can see it's in there. You're going to open this up just to make sure. Make sure you see Docker Compose. YML. Open a terminal window in that directory. You're going to go to your Open Moxie folder. Hit Shift and then right click and you're going to see all this pop up and you choose Open in Terminal. Then this will pop up and it wants you to type in right here Docker dash compose space pull and it will start downloading a bunch of stuff you hit enter now okay it's pulling it will keep making an error code pop up right here if you haven't verified your email address with docker that is very important i made that mistake and had to do this three times because it kept doing an error right here. If you keep getting an error right here that says unauthorized, check your emails and make sure you verify your email address with your Docker. It's going to run for a minute and then we have to type in another command. When this is done pulling, it'll say complete, 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 server pulled, and you'll know it's done when this pops up. Next, you're going to type in this command docker dash compose space up space dash d and then enter docker dash compose space up space dash d enter running Created, network created, creating, starting, creating. Okay, it's running. Okay, now you're gonna go to this link, which will bring you to the Open Moxie setup page. Click on that. 
All right, welcome to Open Moxie. You might have to turn off your firewalls for this. This is where you have to go to the AI billing, open AI billing page and create an account. You're going to enter your credit card information and buy some credits. $10 is enough. I bought $15. That is for your credit so you can use the text to speech with Moxie. And save the API key to paste it in the form below. After you've set this up, just go on there. That's really easy. Set up an open AI account and um, enter your billing info. Pretty straightforward. Then click on this and it's going to have you make a key. Okay, I named mine Moxie. Choose default project, then create secret key. All right, so it's going to create this key and then you have to hit copy and it's going to copy it so you can paste it. So copy then you're going to go back to your setup here. This part is very important to remember this admin username and password because you will not be able to retrieve it later. You have to remember this. This is where you paste your OpenAI key. Hit paste. All right, so there's your key. Enter computer name. You're just going to pick the name of your computer here or your um, IP address. So you're going to have to choose one or, or the other. Sometimes you might have to go back and forth to see which one works for you, but it's either the name of your computer, not the name of your Wi-Fi. Okay, so after you've pasted your key and picked an admin name and password, you hit done. Then this is gonna pop up. Migration code, QR code, setup, admin. Migration code, QR code, it's gonna um, bring that up. And then the Wi-Fi QR code for Moxie to connect, it'll bring up um, another QR code, but you have to enter your actual Wi-Fi info here. And that should be it. You should be ready to go. Make sure you have Docker on and running. You can tell it's running because it'll have the play button chosen. Turn on your Moxie now, and it's gonna need to look at the QR codes to set up, and it'll beep all weird. And it's confusing to figure out which QR code you need to show to it, depending on what it's asking for on its face is what you show it. Okay, so I hold that up and it just keeps beeping and searching and... Okay. So Open Moxie's running and it connected. Yep, you'll see the embodied logo. And here's Moxie's dream bubbles. Let's see if he works. Moxie, wake up! Moxie, please wake up. So Moxie's gonna meet you all over again. Wow, it feels good to be out of the box. 